Hey, welcome back to the Finale tutorial series. We're going to take on a slightly more advanced cake today in our cake creation series. And uh, let's jump right into it. The cake we're going to be looking at is Winda Triple Threat. Let's watch the simulation. So it's a 500 gram cake. It's a uh, 25 shot. I caught that much. Not sure on the time. Let's try to take a look at the time here. First effect is somewhere around four seconds. Yeah, four seconds. And it lasts to about 19. So 15 second cake. We'll trim off a few for finale. Call it a 12 second cake. Kind of a pricey 500 gram, but it's uh, at least in terms of cost per second, but nice cake. Got some good olive oil coverage with those comets. It's 12 shot. We'll say they're like 1.5 inch tubes. I never really know on the tubes. I just kind of make it up, whatever feels right. And uh, from here, we need to get into a little bit more craziness in terms of how, figuring out how to script it. So what we do know is that there's five rows. Um, and if those rows fire all at the same time. What we don't know, uh, what I don't remember off the top of my head, is how I specify that different shots in the row do different things. And I didn't actually prepare for this session, so I'm going to figure it out on the fly, and you guys are going to get to watch me do that. Um, I think this section in here is going to tell me what I need to know um, somewhere in here about if not every tube does the same thing. And I think what I need to specify is um, the effects. I think this is how you specify that each shot does a different thing. You need to specify them as A and B. And then I got to specify what A and B are. So I think I specify that at the start. So I will say that A will be the comet. Um, silver, kind of like a silver coconut comet. Got some crackle in there. And then we'll say that B is uh, I don't really care what it looks like. It's kind of just a variegated peony. So we'll call it a variegated peony. Five rows firing at the same time. And I'm going to get that right somehow. How did that look over here? Specify them as <laughs> A and B. Nope, nope. Get it here in a second. There we go. You got to put the effects in the parentheses. And let's just see what this looks like, see if we're anywhere close to on track. Let me delete my old simulation here. Oh, 
that's pretty good not bad at all I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna drag this down to the one minute mark we can see how long it runs it may be running a bit longer than the actual one but I may have not timed the actual one super close so I think that's pretty good um, I'm pretty happy with that so I would come in here and change this to window triple threat change my preflare time 0 0.05 apply it and come in here and save it to my library if we want to get really uptight we could look at trying to change the angles on these um, the angles themselves are not I don't think they're quite that diverse in the actual simulation um, but overall for simulation purposes I'm very happy with that and if I was shooting this cake I would be very comfortable with using that simulation and we'll wrap it here thanks for watching please subscribe and we'll see you next time